one nice thing about the renderings is that it gives you an idea what you've done correctly and what you might want to change. Uh, and when I was looking at the rendering of the kitchen, it had all these white cabinets and I didn't think that that was all that appropriate for uh, the, uh, the style of the house uh, with the nice green marble. So I changed the cabinets to a different material and I think that looks much, much richer. And then I also took a look at the uh, um, kitchen and I said, you know, it's let's put some wallpaper on. So my tutorial today will be a couple of things. One is how do we change the material of the cabinet? And that's pretty simple. We simply click on the cabinet and then go edit the type. You can change the cabinet material and the drawer material, which I did, cherry and cherry. And so I did that uh, to each cabinet. You don't have to do it individually to the same type of cabinet. Every type of cabinet that's in this project that is like this, when I changed it, changed automatically. So I think I had to change perhaps four, five or six different cabinets and then all of the rest of them changed automatically. And the other thing is uh, uh, putting in the wallpaper. And so uh, a good thing about the rendering is I, I thought I had put wallpaper on all the walls, but now I can see that these two walls need to have wallpaper on them. So that's something that I will do as a, a demonstration here. So let's take a look at uh, Really, we can take a look at that last rendering here. And uh, if we go to realistic, I'll be able to see the wallpaper that I already put on. And had I gone to realistic first before I rendered, I would have uh, noticed that I needed to put some more wallpaper on here. So what putting on wallpaper is simply adding uh, paint, essentially. So. The first thing I did was I went to the internet and I looked for a wallpaper style that I liked. And I copied that and uh, I added it to my um, materials in uh, my library. And then I simply went to paint. So we're going to go to modify and I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Oh, look at that. I need another, I can see now that I didn't quite fix that cabinet. That's another good thing about the renderings. So anyway, back to paint. So paint's right over here. So I'm gonna paint. And I hope this shows up. I made a, a material called wallpaper. And now with that selected, I simply put my mouse over the wall and boom, it's painted and boom. It's painted. So let's go over and take a look now at, uh, I'm going to go over to the Manage tab and over to the Materials. And let's take a look at the properties of that material. So when I, when I made this new material, which you know how to do, we simply click here and it says Make New Material. I went to the Appearance tab and I simply loaded in that picture of that that I had copied from the internet. Uh, and also I made sure, and I hope this shows up on that screen as well, that the material fit the entire uh, area. And actually when I copied this to begin with, it had a white strip down this side and it had a white strip down this side. So I had to go to paint just to crop it so that it was just this uh, material. If I wanted a larger, uh, area, I could change the width of these. I could change it to two feet, three feet, whatever I want. I'd say whatever actual roll size of this material would be. But this, for purposes of the demonstration, was fine with me. And so, once by clicking on this button right here, I went to my materials because I pasted it here into my uh, project, this class project. And um, then once I had loaded it, then I went into here and I saw that I had the white strips on the side. I went back and cropped it and then I put it back in uh, as a 
as a crop material. Otherwise, it would have been it would have repeated because what it's really doing is it's repeating this over and over and over again. So that's a simple tutorial on how to uh, paint the walls. Now, when I was painting the walls, I saw, let's see if we can go back here. When I was painting this wall, I saw that it actually painted the wall in, in, this, in the pantry as well. And I don't know if that's really necessary to have the wallpaper in the pantry. So the solution to that is simply to go back to the first floor plan and I'm going to break that wall. So I'll go back up to modify and I'll go over here and I'm going to just cut that wall right there. Okay, so now because it was a continuous wall, that is the reason why it painted the entirety of it. So let's go back and take a look at that uh, section again. And now we'll go over here and let's try this and see what happens. Remove paint and let's click here and see what happens. There, took the paint out. So I had a little bit of extra uh, wallpaper where I may or may not have wanted it. I'm not really sure if it would be appropriate to put it into the pantry or inappropriate to put it into the pantry. But I wanted to show you a quick demonstration on how to remove it. So as I continue to look at my renderings, this is where I really start to fine tune my design. And as I zoom in and take a look at the, you know, this these transoms look a little bit too low to me. I mean, that's a very expensive piece of uh, assembly here for just a little bit of glass there. So I think uh, I'm gonna raise that up. So let's go back real quick, take a look at that rendering and see how easy it is To change the height, we'll take a look at it here. So I basically all I have to do is click on this, edit the type. I'm just going to duplicate it and say that it's uh, well, this is bad. Uh, this is a really bad uh, numer numerical for that. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to, for purposes of this class, in real life, we would definitely give it a real name here, the manufacturer's name. Uh, but I'll just leave it at that. But there's a six, a six one, and now a six two, and then there's a six three. Rabbit just added the three, so I'll say okay to that. And then I'll come over and take a look at the height. Now, right now, if we follow this across, the height is eleven inches, and that's crazy. So let's add another foot to that. Let's just see what happens if I just add another foot to that. There we go. I think that looks better. So I'm going to change this guy now to the 6.3, which will be over here at, in the most recently used. And then we'll go back to this section right here. I'll go to that view. And I'm gonna change, if this is a, is a six, and look at it, it has a whole different name. So I have to edit that type, duplicate it, it's not a six again. So eight foot two is fine. And instead of being, I'll add another foot to that and say, okay. And do the same thing here. Let's see, edit the type, duplicate it. And that's fine. And then I'm just going to add this. Now, the reason I, if I didn't duplicate it, then it's going to change every single window that has that property every, of that uh, family name. Okay, that looks pretty good to me.